Welcome, my name's Dan Billing. I'm the Specialist Science Advisor for the Next Generation Technologies Fund. And I'm Karen O'Connor. I'm the Science Portfolio Director for Next Gen Tech Fund, and you'll hear more from me a little later. Karen and I are from Defence Science and Technology Group, or DST, the agency responsible for the Next Gen Tech Fund, which was launched in March 2017. The Next Gen Tech Fund, the Defence Innovation Hub, and the Centre for Defence Industry Capability make up the Defence Innovation System. The Next Gen Tech Fund is centred on research in emerging and future technologies for the Australian Defence Force of the future. The Defence Innovation Hub is focused on maturing and further developing technologies which have moved from the early science stages into the engineering and development stages of the innovation process. Collectively, these programs result in a complete and coherent system which creates opportunities for all elements of the external science and technology enterprise and supports a number of commercialisation and technology exploitation paths. The government is investing approximately 730 million over the decade in next generation technology to provide game changing capabilities of the future and better position defence to respond to strategic challenges. DST is partnering with academia, publicly funded research agencies, Australian industry, other areas of defence and government and our allies to establish a collaborative network to create a vibrant and interlocking innovation capability. Karen and I have been involved in many of the nationwide calls for expression of interest which have been issued for participation in our research programs. More than 825 submissions have been received to date. Currently we are focusing on nine priority science and technology areas. Integrated intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, space capabilities, enhanced human performance, medical countermeasure products, multidisciplinary material sciences, quantum technologies, trusted autonomous systems, cyber, and advanced sensors, hypersonics, and directed energy capabilities. There are three key pillars to the Next Gen Tech Fund. First, we start with the nine priority science and technology areas in red. We get there with collaboration vehicles in green. These are all aligned to the domain science and technology focus areas shown in purple, including maritime, land, aerospace, and national security. Moving from left to right, DST theme leaders are responsible for each of the nine priority science and technology areas. They have developed research investment plans aligned to those six domain science and technology focus areas. The DST theme leaders use one or more of the established collaboration vehicles to execute their programs, including grand challenges, defence cooperative research centres, university research networks, strategic partner programs, Small Business Innovation Research for Defence, Technology Forecasting, the Australian Multidisciplinary University Research Initiative, or OSMURI, and finally the Defence Research Accelerator Program. The programs are achieved with technologies identified by scientific experts at DST and endorsed and actively supported by senior stakeholders within Defence. We would encourage you to engage with DST theme leaders and review the material on the Defence Innovation website and DST's public internet site to gain a better understanding of the technology areas, collaboration mechanisms and the Defence Science and Technology focus areas. The selection process is generally made up of five phases. First, we release a call for applications. Once the applications have been received, they are evaluated and shortlisted applicants are offered the opportunity to submit expanded proposals. The expanded proposals are then reviewed and preferred partners are selected. From there, we enter the pre-contract and contract phases. First, you need to know where you can find out about opportunities and what we're looking for when we put out a call. The Next Gen Tech Fund may advertise a number of specific calls for applications on the Defence Innovation website throughout the year. Check back on the Defence Innovation website regularly to find out about new opportunities to partner with us. The Centre for Defence Industry Capability and DST also release regular newsletters. By signing up for these newsletters, you can keep abreast of all Next Gen Tech Fund news and opportunities throughout the year. Next Gen Tech Fund calls for applications outline the aims, technology elements and assessment criteria related to each specific project. The larger collaboration vehicles, such as Grand Challenges, may also offer an opportunity for you to attend an information session. 
At these sessions, you will hear more about the project and be able to interact directly with the project leads. All NextGen Tech Fund information sessions are advertised on the Defence Innovation website. When you submit an application, it's important to make sure that what you are proposing to deliver fits within the scope of the aims of the call. After applications are received, they are evaluated. NextGen Tech Fund evaluation process is often a two-stage process. This helps to expedite the feedback loop about the suitability of your work to that particular call. First stage applications are short and generally done through a web form. Applications should be clear and to the point, telling us what you can bring to the project while keeping the specific aims of the project and the evaluation criteria in mind. You will only have limited words to get your message across, so it's important to be concise. There is no need to provide a detailed introduction outlining the problem because we've already done that for you. After the initial evaluation process, shortlisted applicants will then be given the opportunity to submit an expanded proposal. The expanded proposal stage is a more in-depth process. Applicants down selected from stage one will be provided with an application form with clear guidelines for budget costing, delivery milestones and outcomes. This application is specifically designed to provide a lot of the information required for contracting. So should you be successful, we can streamline that contracting process. As the lead innovation integrator for NextGen Tech Fund, DST will contribute or partner in depth in all priority science and technology areas. That is, we will ensure there are science and technology experts within DST that directly participate and work alongside our defence innovation partners and ensure there is strong alignment to our military stakeholder needs. The life cycle of a given program within NextGen Tech Fund involves a number of key stages leading up to partner selection. Firstly, a continual scan for compelling ideas and concepts related to our priority science and technology areas. An agile process to test and assess if key concepts have real merit for defence. A strategic research investment review led by DST which considers the idea and how it relates to the broader innovation portfolio. And finally, a rigorous and comprehensive background assessment is completed before a call for expression of interest is released. Ultimately, the Next Generation Technologies Fund is about building an Australian defence science community to deliver future capabilities for defence and to engage in true research partnerships which are mutually beneficial. We hope we'll be partnering with you in the near future.